Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I am Kishalai. So in this particular video, I am going to discuss about how you will prepare for GATE or any other examination along with a job in hand. So suppose you are working in a company or maybe you are join, you will be joining a company sooner. How you will prepare for any competitive examination while working in a company? So the problem is that if you are working in a company, so you have a responsibility for the, that particular job and a significant amount of time will be going for that particular job. You have to go to office, you have to do your job and all. So how, what will be your preparation strategy so that you know you can utilize the other time, like whatever the time remaining in a day effectively and you can prepare well for your particular examination. Now to give you a brief background, like when I started my preparation, gate preparation in 2013, I was working in TCS. And like 2014 gate and 15 gate, I appeared along with my job in TCS and finally I, I got 800 rank in 2015 then I left my job and started preparing full time. Now in those particular initial two and couple of years uh, when I was working TCS how I have prepared and what are the strategy I have taken and how I, how I have you know effectively used what are the time that I was getting apart from my working in TCS and all that I'm going to share in this particular video and I, I think it will be helpful for any aspirants who are you know who are currently working and you know preparing for any any competitive examination so without further ado let's get started to this video now the first point is start as early as possible uh, so because you, are, you will be working in a company and i was as i was saying that you know a significant amount of time in the in the day or in the week will be going for your job where you have to spend it at your office like 9 to 10 hours so you won't get much time in the weekdays to you know prepare for your for your preparation like you will be hardly getting like four hours or three hours per day to prepare for your gate or any other competitive examination so that's why i'm saying that you have to start as early as possible like suppose you if you decide that you will be, you will be preparing for gate today so start from today only so that you know you will have enough time before before the examination so don't be in dilemma that whether i'll be giving the gate or not i don't know maybe i'll be i'll be waiting for one more month then i'll decide so decide as early as possible and start, uh, start as early as possible because you don't have that much time what a what a final year student or maybe a dropout student is having because he has a whole whole day to prepare for the examination and you don't have it so that's why you know start as early as possible for the gate preparation so that you know you have sufficient amount of month for that preparation and second thing is suppose you are just completed your btech and you haven't joined any company now and you will be joining suppose in october or december so utilize this time like whatever time you are getting like after your completion of btech till your uh, job your joining job so that particular time utilize it for your preparation and prepare as much as possible in this time because after joining uh, in, your, in your company or in the job you need some time to settle down because it will be a new job and all so use this particular time and you know prepare as much as possible in this free time that you're that you're getting now the next point is have a feasible long-term plan so like suppose today you are decide you have decided that you'll be going for gate so have a plan for 2022 that is next year and next to next year that is 2023 why i'm saying this is that like starting from today 2022 preparing for 2022 along with job maybe you have two less time to achieve a good score but 2023 you have enough time to you know like prepare and have a pretty much good score i'm not saying that it's not possible to you know like crack gate in 2022 it's very much possible if you have given enough enough ded dedicated time for your preparation but you know you have to always keep in mind the worst case condition also like if you fail suppose in 2022 to achieve a good score at least you will have a experience and then if you if you keep on you know continuing your preparation then 2023 is very much possible to achieve. So always have this, you know, long term feasible plan uh, because 2023 is much more feasible than 2022. So like plan accordingly and prepare so that, you know, 2022 will be giving with your full preparation. Even if you fail, if you continue with the experience that you will have in the 2022, then it is it is very much possible to crack next to next year. So have a proper plan for, for a long term plan that is feasible enough to achieve the next point is that you have to study consistently in the in the weekdays so when i was working in tcs my office hour was office hour was like 10 to 7 10 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock in the evening so it's like around 9 to 10 hours i have to i have to i had to spend in my office so in the morning like i was i was getting time like 6 30 to 8 30 for my studying and after in the evening also after dinner like 9 to 11 or 9 to 11 30 so average like 
four to four and a half hours or five hours maximum I was getting for my study. And I think for any person who is working in a regular shift, this is the time you'll be getting for your uh, for your preparation. So the point is that please utilize this time, whatever you're getting per day. Uh, fully so you know don't just you know don't just feel exhausted after your office i understand it happens but try to push yourself to study uh, after office hour also so that you know you have a habit of studying regularly and consistently don't just rely on the weekends uh, that won't help much so you have to build a build a habit of studying every day consistently and that will help you more rather than you know if you just study on the weekends that won't be you know that much effective for your preparation next is utilizing your weekends properly so as you know that if you are a working working candidate like you are working uh, in a job or something so this weekends these two days you are getting in a week that is the most crucial part of your part of your preparation because those are the two days you are getting fully for your preparation so utilize these weekends properly so that you know you can study as much as possible in the weekend and your loads for the weekdays will be less now uh, make sure that you are not wasting much time in the weekends like many people has a habit of you know traveling or maybe going for parties and all especially if you're a working working candidate then i understand that you have a lot of team parties and all happening in the weekends so try to skip them and uh, i'm not saying that don't go to you know be an unsocial person or don't go for any traveling and all throughout the year till you are cracking your gate but you know you're like your priority should be for the gate preparation and you should be focusing on gate preparation and, and utilize all of your week, weekends as much as possible for your preparation and try to you know push yourself to study as much as possible in the weekend so that your you know burden for the weekdays will be less next is if possible try to be in a project where you have shifts now like as i was working in tcs in a regular shift the problem is if you're working in a regular shift like your office hour is like morning 9 to evening 6 o'clock or like morning 10 to 7 o'clock the problem is that you wake up in the morning you start studying and all then suddenly you have to stop your study and you have to go to office and again coming back from office you have to study and it's not easy you know to come back from the office after the long hectic schedule of your office and all and then come back in the evening and study again so this interruption actually is not good for um, studying so it's better if you have a long uninterrupted time for your preparation so that's why if you are in a shifting project like if you have a uh, like morning shifts from 6 to 2 o'clock suppose you have so you come back from the office in the afternoon then take some rest and then from like 4 o'clock from afternoon till night 11 11 30 you can study and if, again like if you are in an afternoon shift then also your like your whole morning hours like from 6 to 2 2 o'clock uh, noon you are getting those uninterrupted time for your preparation so it is actually very helpful if you get this uninterrupted time spent long time spent for your preparation so there will be no interruption there you have to stop and go to office so if possible uh, in, if you know in company there is a shift shifting project uh, then try to be in that those projects because those pro those time time schedules are very helpful for you for taking a good preparation now next point is take leaves frequently uh, so like if you are working in a company and you are getting this different kind of leaves like on leave sick leave casual leaves so try to utilize them properly you know you know in a proper way for your preparation like uh, take leaves once in a 15 days or 20 days uh, and then you know utilize them for your preparation and if you are taking a leaves keep in mind that try to take leaves on friday or monday uh, so you'll be getting this whole three days of weekends and this un un uninterrupted time spent for your preparation and again you know you'll be in that zone for studying and preparing for three days and that will be helpful uh, so like whatever leaves you are getting for your for in, in your company so you know kind of plan properly and manage it properly so that you know you can utilize them uh, for your preparation and also before the examination like for me get get examination so before get examination i used to take couple of weeks uh, leave uh, so it will be better if you don't go office in that particular time because you are in a focused way that you will be appearing gate in 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 the time period of couple of weeks so you know it, it, it is not permissible to go to office that time because you know again you will be diverted and all if you are going to office so try to take at least one week of least leave at least if you are not getting couple of weeks leave and you know try to be in that particular preparation zone for that particular time so yeah like i still remember that when i was leaving my job for tcs i just had one uh, leave left in my account so i have utilized all the leaves that i uh, got in that particular couple of years i worked there so i utilized all of them for my preparation and i i planned accordingly that when i have to take a leave and and that i'll be utilizing for my preparation so i'll suggest you also that if you are working now so 
plan accordingly that how many leaves you have and you have to utilize them properly for your preparation next point is that if you are working and if you are planning to have a coaching or a coaching for your gate preparation you know try to take a online coaching rather than offline or classroom coaching uh, because the problem with offline coaching is that you know you, again you have to go to the, this classroom and all and that that involves traveling and that will again kill your time and most of the offline coaching you know the coaching they, they, they used to teach on the weekend so again your weekends will be blocks and you don't have enough uh, you don't have enough time for a self-study like if you are working you know like the weekend should be dedicated for your for your self study but again if you are going for a offline coaching or classroom coaching then whole the seven days are blocked and you don't have you know time for your self study so you know so, so go for online coaching because online coaching these lectures videos and all you can even you can uh, you know watch in the weekdays like after your office hour or even before your office hour also so then the weekends you can you can do your self study so try to kind of take the online coaching because that is more helpful than offline coaching if you are preparing with job uh, so these are the seven points you need to follow if you are preparing for any competitive examination with your job and the moral of the story is that you don't have enough time for the preparation compared to a person who is you know kind of preparing full time so whatever times you are getting you have to manage it properly and you have to make sure that you are not wasting much of your time that is available to, to you so whatever time you are getting you have to utilize it properly yeah so that's it guys so uh, please like the video if you have liked it and share it with other guys so that you know they will be benefited from this and also if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel i will be uh, you know i'll be coming up with more videos related to gate and my life at isc and all so ho hopefully it will be helpful for you guys who are aspiring for gate and you know coming to iits and isc okay that's it for today's video see you in the next video until then bye